Oh, you have a mosquito on your face. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Nico. I'm Jack. And I'm Amy. <laughs> we are going to do another podcast. So we're very excited to have Amy on our podcast today. And Jack. Yeah, thanks for joining us, Amy. You too. Thanks, Takes the pressure off me. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason we've got Amy today is because a few weeks ago we did a North versus South. Dun, dun, dun. So in the comments, somebody mentioned to me, how about doing... Beijing versus Shanghai. Bum, bum, bum. And so Amy has lived in both of these cities. Yes. So we thought you would be the perfect guest. Happy to oblige. Because we're a little bit biased because we've only lived in Beijing. So obviously but we have been to Shanghai a fair amount. We have been to Shanghai a fair amount. Not that you would know because we never vlog in Shanghai because we're always having too much fun. That's totally true. Exactly. <laughs> so I think we can we can give a little bit of an input, but obviously you can give the most. So you've lived in both cities. For how long did you live in Shanghai and how long have you lived in Beijing? So I lived in Shanghai dead on a year and then Beijing a bit longer, probably like a year and a half to two years in total. Wow. Okay. And before we get into some of the nitty gritty, what are your favorite things to do in Beijing and Shanghai. What do you like Ooh. to do in these cities? Well, the thing I love about Beijing is the hutong areas. So probably, and I love walking. So my favorite part of Beijing is just like getting lost in the hutongs, getting some drinks or some food, just like wandering, getting lost. Completely agree. That so that's my well. favorite for Beijing. Um, for Shanghai, my favorite thing is oh my gosh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what <laughs> Oh my god, imagine if you fell oh in the water. Oh my god, he broke the bridge. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, so what yeah. do you like to do in Shanghai? Okay, so Shanghai, um, I think it's also walking based. Like, I'm a real walker, and I find that Shanghai is probably the world's most walkable city. Or maybe Ooh, not. Oh, big claim I there, big claim there. You heard it here walking first. Walking in Shanghai. Like, so many fun areas that are connected and you go for a walk and you'll always stumble across something really fun and interesting so my favorite thing to do in shanghai is walk from probably like jing an area through people square park or like through nanjing west road to people square park people um and then through nanjing east road to the bund and then you can appreciate some sunset and mm -hmm. yeah i find that just like really nice well speaking of walking yes let's talk a little bit about the layout so yeah we obviously live here in Beijing and I personally feel like Beijing is like super easy to get around because of the way that it is. Oh, do you not agree? I don't agree. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I like the way that it's all centered around the Forbidden City and it's blocks and you kind of work yeah, your way Yeah, it looks nice. Hours. Are you going to put a picture of Beijing on your wall or do you want to live Ooh, in it? Ooh, fighting talk. <laughs> fighting talk here. Wow. No, okay. No, no hate, no hate. Beijing is okay. It's just it's okay. like... Just okay. I don't know. I, for me, the, the Shanghai subway system is a lot like here in Beijing. If I want to go, for example, I was just in San Lituan and yeah. I was going to meet you here. Oh, that's hard. To yeah. go from there to here, I would need to get three different trains, like change yeah. train three times. Whereas in Shanghai, I feel like like the fun areas are all kind of on one line or this line or that line. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be that much. But yeah, like Shanghai is a little bit more connected. Yeah. But... Um, I find we're it all about aesthetics so though, aren't we? Yeah, we are aesthetic. <laughs> it is a very aesthetic city. Like yeah. the whole ring road, it's beautiful. Yeah. And like having this forbidden city at the center. <laughs> I think though, even though they are really big, what is impressive is like, they are super accessible. Like here in Beijing, it's easy to cycle. We love to cycle, obviously. You don't I like hate to cycle. To cycle. <laughs> yeah. And uh, when we were in Shanghai, we got a fine for cycling. A fine for cycling for yeah. what? We yeah. cycle down a no cycle road. Oh wow! There are no cycle roads in Shanghai. I had no idea. Yeah. I think it might be a new thing to be fair. I, yeah, so. but what I have noticed about the traffic is in Shanghai, people stop for you. It's true. Actually, <laughs> that's a really true. I feel like Shanghai. I just from like, in the. I haven't been to Shanghai or Beijing for like two years. So I'm coming back and just speaking f with a very, you know, surface level impression over the last few months. But I feel like in Shanghai, people s like um, the scooters, they stop yeah. at red lights, whereas yeah. in Beijing, they go through. Yeah. Um, also, I feel like in Shanghai, they're a lot stricter on the road rules. Like yeah. I know that my friends that ride scooters, they don't do two people on one bike. They must wear helmets. And if you don't, you're almost guaranteed to get a fine. Well, I think 
safety first guys I always wear a helmet here and you are right no one wears helmets here in Beijing and I'm oh like, really um if you fall off your bike and you hit your head you can't die yeah I feel like you get fined in Shanghai yeah you should get fined it should be a thing I am I am safety queen <laughs> I agree <laughs> right you know because accidents happen and like you're on mm -hmm. a bike like mm -hmm. so yeah I think that's a very good point with that thing anything to add there no I think you guys did a good job of putting the world to rights there um, <laughs> Saving the world one yeah, video yeah, at a yeah. time. I think you've, you've definitely done your bit for public safety now. Yeah. So we talked about how to get around the city. So let's talk about some other things to do in the city. Yeah. Now, I think Beijing is more of the historical capital. Well, obviously it's the capital, but it's got more historical things. Um, and Shanghai is more like modern business, economic. What well, do yeah. You, what do you think? Oh, no, no doubt about it. Like Beijing has thousands of years of history. Yeah. Shanghai up until quite recently was more of a, f not fishing town, but it was never like a huge center historically. It was never like a capital or anything. So yeah, for sure in Beijing you have, like you'll be driving along in a taxi or walking along the road and you'll come across like a gate that has, you know, that's a thousand year old or, old or like the drum tower or something like that. I find it always so fascinating. In Shanghai, not as much of that. I personally think that there's a little bit more to do in Beijing. What, what have you thought? Do you agree? <laughs> mm, I feel like no. you're screwing your face about that. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like both places have a lot to do. I, I, are you talking tourist side? Yeah, if you were coming on holiday, um, as a tourist, mm. you know, <clears throat> that might not happen for a while. But if you were coming to visit Shanghai and Beijing, no true. Or if you, what about if you could only go to one? What would you recommend to, to a foreign tourist? Oh, that's oh, real. That's I, I think I feel like to live. Shanghai is a good like entry point to China Got because it. Got it. like you can be very selective about. Are you feeling a China day today, or are you feeling a Western day today? Like in Shanghai, you can choose. Like, do you want to eat? Chinese, do you want to go to Starbucks and eat Western food? Like it's it's very modern, it's very westernized. But I, I so I feel like if you're gonna try living in China for the first time, maybe Shanghai is a good option to like ease you into it. Yeah. I feel like Beijing is probably oh my god, this guy has caught a crab. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do agree with you guys. There's probably for a tourist, there's more to do and see here. Like you've got all of the historical sites, you've got the Great Wall. Yeah. Like nothing in Shanghai historically can compete with a great no. wall or a forbidden city so I completely agree yeah. I think if you I think if you could go to both I would personally spend a little bit more time in Beijing yeah. than Shanghai but Shanghai has obviously got amazing things and the burden and like oh, we yeah. love Shanghai like that's why we, we, do. we, we do. always we feel we give it a hard time but we like it really no we don't give it a hard time I think like <laughs> we have a lot of fun there and like like you said it's really livable there's amazing food there when I was there a couple of weeks ago I was staying with friends living in Jing'an and it's like the foreigner hotspot yeah. right now That's like you walk down the street and one in every three people are foreigners um, whereas mm. I feel like I've been here in Beijing a couple of weeks now I'm not seeing that many foreigners no. maybe I'm not really living I'm living in Guomao which I would have thought maybe has some foreigners I think there's around. a lot, lot lot less foreigners than there were before, yeah. right? Well, before now, COVID, yeah, I think yeah, a lot yeah. of people have left. It depends where you go as well. Just hardcore staying here. If you <laughs> seeing it out. <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> Not hardcore. <laughs> Beijing hardcore. <laughs> Beijing massive. Um, if you <laughs> Shout out to all my Beijing hardcore. Stuck it through. Yeah. If you, um, if you go out to like more Western <laughs> places, I think, yeah. you, you here in Beijing, then you find more Westerners. Um, but let's talk about like the Chinese. Chinese food in Beijing compared to Shanghai. So Beijing is famous for strong flavors. Salty, mm -hmm. I would say. Like a lot of, um, like you have stuff like lu zhu, which is like stewed intestines. You have um, breakfast foods like chao gar, which is also like a stewed intestine. Jack's so favorite food. A lot of very strong flavors, but like in Shanghai, it's more yeah, you know. I noodles. feel like food is just a lot, lot lighter generally in that part of the world, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty famous for crab there as well. I, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had some great crab, crab noodles there. <laughs> yeah. Some crab. So, which do you prefer? Oh. I'm gonna be a bit of a Debbie Downer, yeah. and I'm just gonna say I like them both. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. Uh, but like, definitely, there are things that I prefer in each. But I also think that, and I have conducted this survey on many, a, many a foreigner. Oh wow! So Ooh. my hypothesis is the the city that you first lived in uh -huh. is generally the one that you like more. So I yeah. have studied in both Shanghai and Beijing. When I was in Shanghai, I had some friends that had 
already lived in Beijing for six months, they were always going on about, yeah. oh, Shanghai is not as good. Oh, Beijing, we did this. Beijing, we did that. And then for the others that had lived in Shanghai first and then went to Beijing, like myself, when I first arrived in Beijing, it was just like, I miss Shanghai. Like, yeah. you know, so I feel like the first place you live, you have like a very strong connection to. So how do you find like the communication differences? Um, like in general, everyone speaks Putonghua, which is Mandarin Chinese. Um, but definitely there's more on the streets with locals in Shanghai where they're speaking Shanghainese. It's still mm. quite normal. So for that, I can't understand anything. Like I know a few words like, you know, wow. way, goodbye, like I turn this way, turn that way, just like for fun. But everyone can speak Putonghua. When I was first studying in Shanghai, I feel like my Chinese accent that I was speaking with had a bit more of a Shanghai twang to it, like oh, a bit more cutesy. Super interesting. Uh, like, and then I came to Beijing, I found it really hard to understand anyone because it was were, everyone was using yeah. the uh, huan yin, like, ge ma, like, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, quite soon, I was fine, and yeah. now when I speak, I'm dropping those ar in yeah. like, you know, like it's nobody's business. There you go. Dong mar, si mar, gu mar, chilu I'm just like, whenever I can, I'll be dropping that. Dropping that shit. Yeah. Nice. For the non-Chinese speakers in this chat, that, may, yeah, that joke might say? fall flat. <laughs> Okay, so living in both cities, mm. obviously we only really know Beijing yeah. prices, but what is accommodation and like general day-to-day -day prices, how do you feel like they differ? And you've been a student of both cities, yeah. so I imagine you were like saving your pennies a yeah, little bit. Yeah, like, yeah. How, what do you think? Is there a big comparison or? Like, I feel like both cities are very expensive. Like two mm. of the, you know, you've got the capital agree. and you've got like the commercial capital maybe you could say yeah. Shanghai like they're both extremely expensive cities and rent in either of them Ooh. is absolutely astronomical like it's crazy it's I crazy. couldn't afford to buy a house here no way no way it's like way too expensive I feel like th most of the costs that I would incur when I was living in Beijing were like taxis and getting around mm -hmm. because it's so hard to get around it is harder to get around and like system. if you're studying <laughs> 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 to be honest I haven't caught a metro since I've been here <laughs> What are the tax prices like? I would say surely they're about the same though, right? I think they're about the same, but for me as an Australian, yeah, everything is cheap. <laughs> like in Australia, if I want to go 10 minutes in a taxi, it's going to cost me more than any taxi I will catch in Beijing. I could get a taxi to the Great Wall of China oh. and it will cost less than just going from one suburb to the next in Australia. Like right. it's astronomical. So speaking about traveling, yeah, I have to give Shanghai this one, right? Because it's just a lot more conveniently located. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. much better for traveling to other cities. We used to live in Nanjing, and uh, which is obviously close to Shanghai. And, and it's just like an hour. So, yeah, and there's so many different like nice cities around there that you can just pop to for the weekend. Whereas I feel sometimes living in Beijing that we're a little bit isolated up here. Yeah, you know? it's a little bit difficult. Like there's a lot to do around here. Like, yeah. you know, you, obviously there's a wall and stuff yeah. in like a few hours. But like to get a train to like any really big city apart from Tianjin, it's quite yeah. far. It's like a good four or five hours. But I prefer the weather up here. How do you feel? Because you have I'm trying to jog my memory. Yeah, I guess you. It was a little while ago, and I imagine yeah. Beijing was quite different then. And Shanghai Climate was probably change, quite different. You know, Climate change, yeah. pollution, you know, things well, like that. When I used to, when I was here in 2014 in China, the pollution in general, as a rule, was a lot worse. Yeah. So course, I've yeah. seen over the years the pollution getting better and better and better. Even when I was in Beijing in 2017, I feel like that year they closed some of the factories or they made some, mm -hmm. I don't know, changes to something. Yeah. But I had mostly blue sky days, like, you know, not that much pollution. So um, I think the biggest difference for me weather-wise, Shanghai's a lot more humid. Oh, I'm yeah. not good with humidity. No. No. Beijing's really hot, but I feel like it's not as humid. It's like a dry heat, right? And also when it comes to winter, even though Beijing technically gets colder, because of the central heating here, I feel like it's a lot more comfortable in winter, whereas the, in the south, in in, I think you even talked about it in yeah, your north-south north video, like yeah. the, the line 
under that line, there's no longer brutal heating. Brutal. Yeah. yeah. So that I, I was still still cold. Yeah. Like in China, like it's still it's still colder than like the UK, and we are yeah, yeah, yeah. in the UK. I've never been so cold in my life. Yeah. As I was at night in Shanghai in my oh. dorm. Yeah. Right. Well, we have talked about a lot of differences there. Is there anything you can, else you can oh, think I, of? To be honest, I think you two chat boxes <laughs> summed that up perfectly. Um, Sorry, you have a massive mosquito. <laughs> yeah, we are getting attacked. So I we are we getting should, attacked. Oh, yeah. so we're gonna sum this up. Yeah. Okay, so. Guys, right, leave your comments. Do you agree with the things that we've said? Do you have anything else to add? And the most important question, Beijing or Shanghai? Amy. Ah, uh, I don't Jack. know. I'm going to answer for her. She's Shanghai, I'm Beijing. You're? Um, I've got to say Beijing. It's our home. It's always been our home. But we do have a lot of fun in Shanghai. I love, I love them both. Yeah, I think we need to pay a visit soon. Yeah, let's go to Shanghai. I feel, I feel like well. living in Shanghai is different from visiting I Shanghai. Complete, yeah. I could totally see that. And I yeah. think it's a very livable city. But, yeah. you know, like you said, my heart will always be here in Beijing. So on that note, guys, like, subscribe, check out Amy's channel. See you next time. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, no.